What is going on guys, this is HF Skizzer and also Smith with a new commentary video on my Road to Volterra, episode number 4. I know people have been waiting for this episode, I'm so sorry that it took, I guess, almost like a week before this was out, but I was really busy the last couple days and had to finish things for school the last day before I got one week, one week off, which I have right now, fortunately. So that is really good and probably more time to make more videos. But anyway, back on topic. I tried my best killing the best queen, so I guess I got some good loots, but not the loot I wanted before leaving the queen. But after killing this best queen, um, I got loads of mystic gloves, mystic boots, or other gym that I just don't want to see, and I just felt really unlucky. So the first drop was the one that teleported here, he wasn't green chips, and I already knew it was gonna turn out bad for him. So he actually died there, and he was like, what the fuck, like, what just happened? I dropped 5 mil cash along with all these hardy stuff, and I picked up all of it and the runes too, the which were necessary, I guess. And I didn't even realize he had that many cash. I just picked up all the coins, then unexpectedly saw 5 mil cash in my inventory, and that's when I actually realized that they were starters. So after a while again, I saw randomly 5 mil, one mil cash on the ground once again. And that was probably a started too who died there. Man, it was just insane. It's crazy how people die there, and it's actually a good money making method and funny as hell. I even had some bad thoughts in my mind just going to Lumbridge and PM all these stars to teleport the best queen and then once they die you will see loads of money showing up on the ground for you. However I shouldn't do that and leave them basically because I don't know if you were able to get banned for doing that and besides that it's probably a sad way to earn your money and if they die at the best queen I guess it's just your luck and you just pick up the cash and keep your mouth shut. So at the end of the two days doing a lot of best queen, I've got 16.4 mil cash from the people that died there, 8 rune berserker shields, 8 rune gloves, a rune kite shield, 2 rune battle eggs, and 2 mystic mud steps. I have not picked up all of the junk such as the mystic or anything else, just something that might be profitable for me, for me in the series. Fortunately I haven't really got the time to sell all the shield, gloves and stats, but I will try my best to sell them in the next upcoming episodes. So right after doing Pest Queen, I went to Frost Dragons to get some Frost Dragon Bows. Many of you guys do know it's one of the best money making methods out there. So I have killed exactly 201 of them and got 201 Frost Dragon Bows. Since I'm a member, I could use the members cave where the Frost Dragons are located too. But when I tried clicking on the cave, it didn't let me in for some reason, so I guess that was good. I had to take the more risky way. I went to the Ice Blood Shoot to kill the Frost Dragons where they are located too. This is in a deep wilderness, so there might be a chance you get killed. If you ever plan going there, don't risk too much. The good thing is that you will keep your fire cape and kill cape, even though you're skilled. However, I wouldn't try to kill someone, because running around with a skull is not what you want either, as you might get killed and only keep one item. So here I am trying to sell the first dragon bones. Selling them isn't really a hard task either. You sell them for about 400 to 450k each, or maybe even higher. A lot of people want to achieve the prayer called Thermo, which requires 95 prayer, and those who are on a legend game mode, or even an extreme game mode, needs a lot of bones. Selling all of them got me exactly 80.4 mil, which is really some nice cash and I will definitely kill more frost dragons and even try to sell them for a higher amount. It gets bored after a while though, but you should lis listen to some music and it'll be all fine. At the end of the episode trying to cap best queen for a long time and doing some guaranteed money making as for killing the frost dragons. We have made 16.4 mil cash from the people that died at Pest Queen, along with all the Berserker shields, spike shields, staffs and gloves, which I haven't got to sell yet, along with 80.4 mil cash from Frost Dragons, which makes it a total of 96.8 mil, so almost 100 mil this episode, which is really great. It also means we have currently 258.7 mil cash. So I guess that's it for this episode. Once again, I'm so sorry that this episode took me almost a week to upload on YouTube. But I'm happy that I've entertained most of you again. As always, thanks for watching and have a very nice day and love to you all.